Okay, this is a uh, quick one uh, based on an existing demo we had. Got uh, a Minify agent grabbing some MQTT sensor data, extracting some things out, filtering some errors, and pushing that to NiFi. So let's uh, start my process here. We'll go into the flow. So that data is coming in. As that data comes in, uh, we're sending that to Kafka. And that's just the raw Kafka. Then we're consuming those messages in another app and doing some uh, jolt transforms on it, updating uh, some values to see if the data is healthy. And then more importantly for this one, pushing to Kafka as both JSON and Avro, depending on what people need, and also storing to Iceberg, which is a great place to store our data. As you can see, we're getting our data coming in there. And uh, let's look at the parameters. So you'll know how to do it. Again, whatever your record you're reading, JSON, a uh, couple different catalog options. I'm using Hive, default namespace. The name of the table is ICE sensors. Let's check my connection to Hive here. It's Thrift. And I've got all those uh, config files for Hive, Core, HDFS, all that fun stuff that is working as we're pushing it there. Let's take a look quick at the uh, iceberg table. It is stored in HDFS, and you can see it's an external uh, source, and it is stored as iceberg and parquet, and that's being stored. And we could take a look here. Let's look at uh, the records we have here, and we are getting a bunch of records in. Uh, almost 200 here as we're loading them. And we can see where that's stored. That is stored actually in Ozone, which is a more advanced uh, object store that runs anywhere. So you can run this on premise. I'm running it in a small cloud instance. And we could check, make sure our data is getting pushed into Kafka. We could see that then it's getting uh, consumed in a couple different places. Let's make sure those records are getting into Kafka. And you can see as we produce them, it's going to a couple different places. That's how we're getting that data to Atlas. It's also being read by SSB. We've got another producer that's producing records for SSB. And we could see our uh, records here, see all the metrics about uh, what's going on here with their data in and data out for IoT enriched. And we'll see what this topic is in a minute. Uh, I just wanted to show you that there. So we've got data coming into Kafka, and we've got it going into Iceberg on top of Ozone. Let's take a look here. We have a query that is taking uh, some counts, some sums, averages, min, max, and grouping it over a time interval, and then inserting it into that uh, topic that we saw before, the uh, sensor six, that's an aggregate. So we could use Flink to uh, insert data into Kafka. We'd also use it to read data from Iceberg directly if we wanted to, or use Iceberg as a sync. Gives us a lot of different options here. Just wanted to show you the art of the possible, Iceberg, Kafka, NiFi, Flink, throw some ozone and Atlas in there just to make it uh, interesting. Hopefully everyone's uh, got what we were doing.